I ran the Supermicro Super Diagnostics offline um, diagnostics program on a server board that was working fine by remote mounting the ISO, which I showed in another of my videos, <clears throat> and I'll link it to this one. And uh, it gives you results like this. How you get the results is you have to copy them onto a USB stick because here's the remote desktop in KVM. What happens is um, after it's run, it puts the uh, the result in a directory here that's called FS3, <clears throat> or it's a mount on the EFI. This is the EFI shell on the remote desktop. So you have to type map-r <clears throat> to list all of these. And I discovered in FS3, by just listing it with ls, there is the, um, there's the output file, which I then copied to FS0, which is a USB stick that I plugged into the server board <clears throat> USB port. So you have to discover these things just by uh, listing what's in each of these uh, um, drives as they look. And then to um, <clears throat> eject the drive, it's good to switch to another one, like FS something else, FS2 maybe, that wasn't in use, and then type map-r again, <clears throat> and that'll release the drive because it's no longer being looked at, so it's safe to unplug. So I did that, <clears throat> and then on the drive there's an HTML file in the subdirectory. You have to use um, copy minus r. I think I typed cp-r, not copy, but anyway, so copy the result file onto the stick, FS0, and it's a whole directory and then if you look in the directory there's an html file double click on it <clears throat> open it in a browser you get the results and then you can click around in here um, looking at various uh, results so information about the motherboard and the sensor readings as they were when the test was run so it's very useful to diagnose a supermicro um, server motherboard <clears throat>